Oh gosh. Oh, we are so dead. We are super, super dead. There's a side fall. Yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Whale. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kean, and welcome back to the dreams of Hello Neighbor. Now, last we left off, we beat the Indiana Jones level. I think it was this level right here. So it looks like this one's lit up right here. We got a statue of Sloppy Joe right there. So let's uh, let's check it out. Okay. We have a giant Frankenstein Sloppy Joe here. Is that what I'm looking at? Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's thunder and lightning outside. That's fun too, okay. I guess we gotta turn this guy on, I suppose. And he'll probably squish us at some point. That's what I imagine is going to happen. Let's try this out, let's see what happens. What do we, okay, we'll grab that. Yes, we'll attach that to his brain, okay? We gotta get to the other side now. I imagine we can just jump off because what's the worst that could happen? We die and then we win. So I guess we can jump from the highest distance we want and we probably will be okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy here. Zap him, come on, go ahead. All right, here we go. I don't know what's gonna happen now. Is it gonna turn on? Is the giant Frankenstein Joe gonna turn on? <laughs> what's going on here? Is there more buttons we need to press? Oh wait, you know what? There's rooms up at the top and it looks like there's generators over here. You know what? We probably have to go inside of those rooms. So let's try doing that. Let's get in here. All right, go in there. Yes, okay, there is more to see than meets the eye. Let's climb up these very long stairs. Wow, I am continually impressed by Joe's athletic abilities with this big old belly of his. All right, it looks like we got more stuff to interact with here. Let's go ahead and pull this lever, see what happens. That didn't do anything. Oh, there's a statue over there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Get this guy over here. It looks like Joe's boxing someone. Okay, nice job. All right, what is this? There's something over here too. It looks like uh, we got a big red button. They always say don't press big red buttons. That's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, looks like we got this thing going. So that's probably what's powering one side of the giant monster's brain. All right, we got another door here. So can we go in here? Okay, yes, we can. Is this... Wait a second, this is probably leading to the same area. So maybe actually that was powering the entire setup. So this should get him activate. Oh, yep, there he is. He's walking around. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so uh, I think we just need to walk in front of him and he needs to step on us. Step on me. Yes, squish me, squish me. Yes, <laughs> all right, that is. What a weird dream. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see what's next. All right. This is the next one that's lit up. Uh, that is some kind of portal gun. It looks like. All right. Let's jump in there and see what this level's all about. Yes, it is absolutely a portal gun. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this thing. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Okay, we got a little secret here, so let's grab that. And then, um, I, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I mean, how do we... Okay, we got purple and yellow. Okay, yeah, that that's how portal works. Um, maybe we do something like this. Like, we go like that. And we do this thing. And then we launch ourselves. I don't know. Yeah, that, that was it. That was it. We were moving at such an extreme speed that we launched ourselves into a wall and got splattered. Okay. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, is this Super Mario? Please tell this looks like a Super Mario block. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so happy. Yes, this is amazing. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man, Joe's been playing too many video games. I love it. All right, let's see what happens. Does anything happen when we knock this out? No, nothing. Oh, 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 we can move this around. Okay, I saw a statue up there, so I'm gonna see if we can use this to get up there. Yep, sure enough, there we go. All right, I like Joe's rendition of the Super Mario Brothers song in his head. This is how he imagines the Super Mario Brothers song sounds like. This is so cool. Okay, all right, we need to grab this block, and it looks like we need to make like a bridge. The cool thing about these blocks is that they float. That is unique to this level. So let's go ahead and grab this block here, and then let's jump across. Yeah, okay, and then place this guy right there. And then if we get like that, yep, there's the secret. Okay, can we grab this guy again? Oh, come on. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, man. Okay. All right. We, we know what we need to do here, though. I think we need to place it far enough 
that we can grab it again once we get to the other side. So let's try, or you know what, actually what we can do is we can place this block, jump to this one, and then grab this one again. Yeah? Come on. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now jump across. Okay, perfect. Now use that guy right there, and then climb up there, and there you go. Oh, <laughs> a dead piranha plant. Oh, it's so sad. It's super, super dead. Okay, we might need this. I don't know. I can't reach it, so you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't look like we actually need it. It just looks like we need to do some platforming here. Okay, let's jump across. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. Jump, okay. Ooh, this is a big one. All right, Joe, you can do it. Oh my gosh, wow, that was an impressive jump. I didn't think we were gonna make that. All right, we got a purple mushroom, which are typically bad in the Super Mario world, but let's go ahead and pick it up, and can we do anything with it? No, it just looks like it's used to actually put pressure on the, the spot. No, we need both. We need this and this. Oh, Wh what? Wait, 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 wait a second. Okay, this is very confusing. When I put these together, something happens. What? That's awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. So go ahead and put that there. And then if I go over here, can I throw this? There we go. Bam, just like that. <laughs> that is so weird. Okay, I'm digging this level a lot. Okay, looks like we gotta do some platforming over there. And it also looks like Luigi's hat is up there. So <laughs> let's get up there. Come on, Joe, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, nicely done. And then jump over there. Yes, all right. We got Luigi's hat here. Yeah, let's just knock that down. Okay, grab this block. And I'm sure this is gonna come in handy. I'm not sure where we're gonna use it, but I imagine we need to get it. Uh, can we also, can we pick up the green hat? No, you can't pick it up. You can kick it around, but you can't pick it up. Okay, now let's see. It looks like we need to, do we need to get over there? We need to put two of these weird question mark blocks together? I am very confused by this. Okay, um, this is an arrow pointing down into this pipe. So you know what? Let's do the plumber thing. Drop down into the pipe. ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da Okay, not a lot that I can do with this here. This is, this is very confusing. Okay, can I get out of here? Please tell me I can get out. Okay, it looks like I can. Yep, just get out right there. Uh, there is a purple mushroom, so we can make this block bigger again, but I don't know what good that's gonna do if we can't get over there. Maybe if we make it bigger, we can get on top of that platform. Let's let's check out what's over here first. Just kind of do some exploration. Looks like there's another purple mushroom over here. And then there's this. Oh my gosh. That, that was the pipe that we saw. That's the other side of the pipe that we saw uh, underground. So it doesn't look like we can mess around with that too much. Okay, so let's go over here then. And maybe we'll try this out. Let's take this block and let's move it down here. And let's see if we can get up this. Uh, what? No, it disappeared. Are, are you serious? No, where did my block go though? You don't understand, I need that block. I think I made a terrible mistake. That block disappeared. And I don't know how to get it back. Oh, that's how we die. So it looks like we have to go through that pipe and then get launched up into that spike platform and we die a terrible death. And it looks like that's how Mario died too because his hat's stuck up there. So <laughs> at least we know how we're supposed to die. We just don't know how we're supposed to get there. You know what? I totally overthought this. I just need to open this and then grab that block in there. But I lost the block. The block is gone. I don't know how to get it back. Let's see if we can try and grab it because it's got to be inside of here, right? I don't think I'm grabbing onto anything. Okay, all right, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to restart this level. That's all right, I really like this level, so let's do it again. Okay, I've managed to make it back to the area that we were in, it wasn't too hard. Uh, we just need to get back up and get that block because we made that one disappear last time, which was super weird and super disappointing, but that's okay. We can get back there pretty easily. Let's go ahead and get up there. All right, grab that thing and of course knock down Luigi's hat just because we can. All right, now we have a better idea of what we're supposed to do. I was really, really overthinking this. So I need to take this block over here and then I need to use the purple mushroom right here to get this platform opened up. So I just need to do this and then hit that with that and then I should be good to go. And then I can just grab this guy here and, okay, yes, there's a platform that gets us out of here. I was gonna say, 
Are we just stuck in here forever? No, we're good. We're good. We'll ride this platform up there. And now we have two of these. And I think with these two, we should be able to get that third one that is way over here. Now, be careful, though, because apparently if we place a block too close to this one, it just eats it. So let's not let that happen again. Um, let's go like this. Maybe like put it like right there. And then we'll grab the other one and we'll kind of make sort of like a staircase with these blocks. All right, we got the block. Let's head back over and let's try to get that third block. I think that we can do it just like this. If we just place it properly, we just like put it like that. Like hopefully that's high enough. So, okay, come on. No, no, climb up there. Yeah. And then climb over there and then grab this one. Come on. Come on, Joe. Joe. Come on. No, Joe, you got to you got to work with me here. Okay, there we go. And then put it like that and then jump to this one and there we go we did it all right grab that guy okay so now we have all three blocks so we probably have to take these down into the cavern so let's go ahead and jump down the pipe here no can i can i i can't i just need to place them and then take them down with me is that what i have to do these ones are weird because they float so you can only get them down by carrying them with you. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we're gonna need all three blocks in this area to get up to that pipe, and then that should get us killed. So let's grab these blocks and escort them back to where they belong. Now, I hope I can grab this one. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. This is a great level. I love this. Now, can I just go down this area? Where, where do I pop out? I pop out right here, right? Yeah, I can just go down here. Yeah, that's actually way easier. Okay, let's do that with the last block. All right, we got the last block. Let's take this guy downstairs, and then we should be good to go. Now we just need to kind of set it up. Now, can we get back up here? Yes, we can. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I have all the blocks, and they're all accessible. So we'll go ahead and grab this guy and put him down here. Okay, now we need to go up and grab the other one, and then we should have all of them, although this one might be a little bit too high to grab from the ground, so I'm just gonna be careful and take it down. And then let's go grab this last one right over here. Come on, Joe, you can do it. All right, there it is. Drop on down, and now let's build ourselves a little staircase to our pipe of doom. So I think we'll just go something like that. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Go like that, yeah. Actually, can I just do this with these two? I totally just did it with two. I didn't even need the third one. All right, let's do this. <laughs> that's so great. The same fate as Mario. Oh man, that's too good. That was an awesome level. I always appreciate a good old kickback to Mario. All right, let's check this out. This looks like a lighthouse. What is this, level eight? Okay, wow, we're making decent progress. I wonder how many actual levels there are. Can we count them all? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh my gosh, 18, let's see, tw 22, 23, 24, it looks like there's 24 levels total, oh my goodness, all right, well, we got plenty of content to make our way through here. All right, let's jump to the lighthouse next. Okay, we are definitely on a lighthouse of some sort. Yes, okay. Uh, oh, there's a statue, very easy to find, okay. Um, let's see, can we push this? Yes, we can. Okay, so we can change the direction of the lighthouse. I wonder if we're trying to direct a ship or something to crash into us because typically lighthouses are used for ships to avoid hitting things that they shouldn't hit, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Also, is that a giant whale? That is a giant whale out there. That is insane. Okay, um, that's pretty cool. What is this? Moby Duck. All right, we are reading a book. Oh, oh, I have a light bulb now. I can take said light bulb, yes? Can I use this to power the lighthouse? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Yes, put it right there. Yes, yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, <laughs> fantastic. Okay. Uh, so should we point this at the the whale maybe let's let's point it at the whale and see if anything happens Okay, the whales leaving he doesn't like that the lighthouse was pointed at him. What's he doing? Are you uh, are what are you doing whale whale? Where did he go? Is he over here? Oh, he went under the lighthouse Okay, he didn't like that. Let's uh, let's do this again. Let's point the light at him once again See if anything happens is he gonna go somewhere else? Is he is he gonna get mad at us and take out the lighthouse? That's what I would do if I was a giant whale. No? 
You're just gonna go back to where you were? Wait, where'd he go? <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't think he likes that. I don't think he likes the fact that we're shining a very bright light in his eyeball. Okay, so let's continue to do so. Put that right in your eye. Yes, you love it. Oh boy. Okay, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Gosh, this is so cool. Oh, man. Where did you go, whale boy? What's he doing? He looks like he's going, like, way, way down. Where, wait, where did... Is he... Did he go over here? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We just... We just got totally taken down by a whale. Okay, wait. That didn't kill us, though. That did kill the, the lighthouse. Um, so... Did it break the glass? Can I jump out now? No, I can't jump out now. Uh, oh no. Oh no, he's not done. Oh gosh. Oh, we are so dead. We are super, super dead. There's his eyeball. Yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Whale. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna throw this in your eye. Yeah, take that. You don't like that, do you? No, that didn't work. Uh, maybe I'll do something like this. Get this pointed at him again. Yeah? No? He totally killed it. Try to fix it. Uh, oh, you know what? The lamp. Let's just use the little lamp like this. Get that guy plugged back in. There we go. Put it right in his eye. <laughs> he does not like having light shine in his eye. And I can't really blame him. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Or the whale's back, however you want to put it. He's probably going to kill us now. Where did he go? Where, where did, where did he go? Giant whale, but oh no. Oh gosh, here it is. Oh, oh, we're gonna get eaten by a whale. Yep, we're dead. We're super dead. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh, this game is so stinking cool. All right, let's move along to level nine, I think it is. This looks like some kind of like, almost like a Lego set. Okay, let's jump in there. Okay, it's just a really, really tall building. Actually, this looks a heck of a lot like Hello Neighbor's house, doesn't it? Just like tons of rooms stacked on top of each other to an absurd height. It looks like we actually have to get to the very top and jump off of that platform way, way up there. All right, let's give this a shot. Look, we've even got X. X marks the spot. That's where we're gonna die. All right, let's do this. Probably a lot of platforming if I had to hazard a guess. So let's go for it. Let's, uh, let's see. Can we, can we open this? No, it's not gonna open. Um, all right, we got some we got some blocks here, so we can use these probably to get on over here Let's go ahead and do that. All right, that works jump up here jump like that perfect All right plenty of platforming to go around for Joe. All right. I'm not sure uh, Probably have to go in this direction. Oh, oh careful there. Okay um, Hmm, that's actually not high enough for us to jump to the next platform. I don't think I mean I can try is it? Oh, wow, okay, I don't doubt Joe, he can handle it. All right, we gotta head up here. Anything that we need to worry about? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, we got some water showing up here. Okay, what is this? Does this do anything special? No, it's just a purple block. Okay, I probably need this, so I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna jump across these platforms with this in hand. All right, nice. Okay, yeah, it looks like we need it right here to get up there. Yes, okay, perfect. Thought that one through. All right, let's move along. Get to the next set of jump puzzles here. Hmm, I don't know, actually. Can we move these? Yes, we can. Okay, so where do we need to get to? We need to get, let's see, we can climb up this, and we can get over here, and we can, can we move it while we're next to it? No, we can't. Okay, so we need to get over like that, and then we probably need to put one like right here and then probably one right there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's grab this one. Go ahead and push it. Push it right over here. That should probably do the trick, I think. Hopefully that jump isn't too much for Joe to handle, but as we've seen, he can jump pretty impressive. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, let's go for it. You know what, actually, do we need this here? I don't know. 
I don't know if we could make that jump without that there. Maybe that's designed so that you take this one over there and you have two of them right there. I don't actually know. Let's try it without it there and see if we can make it. Go! Yeah, you got this, Joe. No problem. I'm telling you, those jumps, very, very impressive. All right, we made it. Okay, what's next? Bring it on. I ain't scared. We got some, like, really weird ambient noise going on. Sounds like someone's vacuuming or something. I don't know. All right, let's get through here, and then maybe we jump up here. Okay. Looks like there's some kind of, like, railing up here. Okay, yeah, that was the way to go. Okay. Oh, looks like there's a little medieval vent here, so we're gonna crawl through this. All right, I think we're getting closer to the top. Sounds like the wind is getting a little bit stronger up here, so maybe we're getting a little bit closer to our end. This is a very long vent. What do you suppose this was actually used for? Medieval air conditioning? I doubt it. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Which way are we supposed to go? Maybe this way? Yeah, this looks right. Okay. What is over here? Let's just continue in this direction. Okay, another jump puzzle it looks like. All right, let's try to get through this. Looks like we just need to get up all these pillars. Ooh, be careful. Uh, get to this very top one. And then what? Do we just jump across? Yeah, that, that was really easy. Okay. All right, I hear the wind again. It's getting real loud. I think this might be it. I think this might be the final staircase to the top of the castle. Yes, yes, there it is. All right. Looks like it's snowing up here. Holy moly. Was that, that oh no, that's just a bird. I thought that was like a dragon or something. All right, let's do this. X marks the spot, remember? All right, here we go. Right into the X. Okay, I totally missed it, but that's okay. We did it. All right, that was awesome. Let's move on to the next level. It's just a keyboard. What? I don't understand. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Okay, we're in an office. A nice, safe environment for everybody. How do we die in an office full of donuts, by the way? Oh yeah, that's delicious. Oh, we just got an achievement for eating a donut. How about eating all the donuts? Can I just eat the whole donut box? Yes, I can. That is the Sloppy Joe way. Eat an entire box of donuts in a matter of seconds, or literally in a second. Very impressive. Not only can he jump long distances, but he can eat like an absolute champion. And there's a nice little statue of him sleeping. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, so how are we going to get ourselves killed in this office? It looks like uh, there's a computer over here. Can we use it? What happens? Uh, we can, we can, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Um, yes, we can catch this machine on fire. Wow. That is impressive. As somebody who works in the IT world, that is extremely impressive. To be able to light a computer on fire with a few clicks of a button, holy moly, Joe is a man of many skills. I cannot believe it. All right, um, that I imagine is something that is going to get us killed, uh, but we probably need to figure out how to turn off the water system here so that it doesn't put out the fire. We need to burn out. So, how do we do that? I don't know. Uh, there's a locked door over here and we can't actually get through it. So maybe there's a key somewhere. Can we get through this door? Nope, that door is locked as well. So maybe there is a key laying around somewhere. Let's do some searching. Let's eat some donuts while we're at it. Why not? How about the copy machine? Can we do anything with the copy machine? Oh, oh, I can take it with me. Okay. Oh, wait a second. There's an open window. Why is the window open? I can't get through it. Okay, that's not going to do me much good here. What about this guy? Can I interact with this thing? Nope, can't interact with that. Okay. There's another donut for us to eat. Yeah. Okay, what about this thing? Can we do anything with this? We can move it. Um, is there anything over here? No, there's nothing over here. Oh, wait a second. What is this? There's like a little, little mouse hole. Hmm. Not sure if there's anything that we can do with that though. Maybe we can lure the mouse out if we use a donut, but I ate all the donuts. And I don't know what I would do with a little mouse. Yeah, I ate all the donuts. So that's probably not what you're supposed to do. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe if I push this thing over here. Is this gonna do anything? Can I, can I jump out? No, can't jump out. Okay, no, can't mess around with the window at all. Um, is there anything like on top of these shelves maybe? It doesn't look like it. Can I interact with the heaters? No, can't interact with the heaters. When I press this, it does light the computer on fire, but as soon as we do that, it fills the room with water. So how do we stop the water from coming out? I don't know. That's, that's the key. 
We can always hang out at the water cooler and just, you know, talk office gossip and, and whatnot. That's that's what people do, right? It's not something that I do, actually. I do have a water cooler in my office, but uh, but I don't hang out in front of it. And honestly, nobody really hangs out in front of it. You know, actually, more people hang out in front of the coffee maker. That's, that's true. That's where the office gossip happens. Where's the coffee maker? I want to hear the dirt about Jenny and Martin. What's going on? Oh, I can take the computer with me. Now, if I take the computer, like, say, over here, and I press the keyboard, will it light on fire? This is wireless technology at its best. Let's see. Yes, it totally does. Okay. Okay, so we can move the computer around, but where are we going to move the computer to? What good is that going to do us? I am very, very confused about this. Maybe if we put a box on top of the computer, it'll make the fire even more raging and uh, something catastrophic will happen. Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. That didn't work at all. Maybe if we put it in front of the mouse hole here. That's the secret, right? Yeah, let's give that a shot. Mice hate fire. So he's gonna come running out. Nope, that didn't work either. Not even close. Wait, there's an area of the office that doesn't have water sprinklers. Maybe that's the secret. Put it over here next to this area and light it on fire. Let's try that. Let's give that a shot. See if the see if it puts out the fire. Let's put it out. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay. Now we're on to something. So, we're not actually trying to burn ourselves down. It seems we're actually trying to drown ourselves in an office building. Yeah. So, actually what we need to do is probably close this window. So, I wonder if we use the copier machine to do that. Let's try that. No, that's not it's not working. Now, we probably need to plug this hole. Did that work? No, that didn't work. We need to plug this hole, right? Like that. Okay. Okay, so it's starting to fill up a little bit more. But now it's spilling out of the window. So, I wonder if we if we put the copy machine in front of it, is that enough to block it? I don't think it is. Let's try it. Let's put it like that. No. That's that's not working. Uh maybe actually I'm supposed to put this in front of the window. And that in front of that hole? I don't know. Is there anything else that we can move around? Doesn't look like it. We have this cardboard box, uh, which actually might work better to plug up this hole and it'll free up the vending machine. So let's actually try that. Get that thing lined up right like that. No, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, cardboard boxes aren't very good for plugging up water. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, never mind. That was a terrible idea. Why don't we swap the fax machine? and the, uh, the, the big tall vending machine. And we'll see if that does the trick. So I'm gonna put this over here. Come with me if you want to live. Okay, put that guy right there. And then this guy needs to go over here. Now, I kind of want to try and rotate this. I, I don't know how, can we? It doesn't look like we can. Hmm, that didn't work either. I'm very confused. Um, can I turn these on for additional water flooding ability? Yeah, that's that's a great idea. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that we can grab here? We can't actually take the water coolers. Can we just... Oh my gosh. All I had to do was click it. All I had to do was click the stupid window to close it. All right, well, at least we figured it out. It was really hard to tell that the window was like highlighted because it was so bright right there. So normally when you highlight something, it puts like a little, you know, glowing effect around the outside. It was really hard to tell that that effect was on the window. So that's gonna be my excuse for not noticing it sooner, but at least we figured it out eventually and we got through the level just fine. So let's see what's next on the docket. It looks like it's a giant Egg? Okay. All right. Let's let's check this out. Gi uh, giant egg. A giant egg. That it was a dinosaur egg. That was a dinosaur egg. That is a T-Rex. We're going to get eaten by T-Rex. This game is amazing. Okay. Uh, how are we going to get eaten by T-Rex? That's a great, great question. Let's try and figure it out. Uh, there's the there's the dinosaur egg. I wonder if that's that's Mama T-Rex's egg. There. She wants it back. Okay. Let's uh, let's give it a heat test here. See what happens. That didn't seem to do anything. Okay. Uh, we got a giant microwave over here. Maybe we can make a giant omelet with that giant egg. Uh, we can pick up this chair. I'm not sure what good that's gonna do us. We can't open the doors on the side. We can turn on the burner. Okay, that seems like a good way to get yourself killed. We'll just let that run. Oh gosh. 
Oh no, it was catching on fire, but it didn't really do anything. Oh, there's a statue, let's grab that. Hmm, can we, can we interact with the egg at all? No, we can't interact with the egg. Okay, we can close that, and that gets super hot. Okay, so, okay, great. I, I don't know what we're gonna cook besides the egg. Um, let's try this heat test again, because that's like the only button that we can touch. What is that doing? Oh, wait a second. Is that is that causing those to go? Am I looking at the wrong thing? Okay, yeah, we got lasers here. That's pretty sweet. Let's uh let's try heating up a chair. Why not? Yeah, sure. Give that a shot. Cook that thing. Cook a chair. Catch it on fire. That didn't do anything. Okay. Terrible idea. Maybe we can break this open. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh it looks like Mama T-Rex is definitely following the egg if I put it down over here. Yeah, she's not following us She's following the egg and she wants it back. Okay, so we're gonna make her real mad by torturing the egg Is that what's happening? What a terrible thing to do. Okay, um, I'm gonna stick it in the microwave Yeah, that seems like a, a good way to make a t-rex angry. Go ahead and close that up. All right, there you go Cooking your egg. How you feel about that? Don't like it. Okay, that didn't do anything. Um, let's let's throw it on the stove here Light that thing up. Yeah, let's do some of that That's gonna be a real hot egg there cooking that bad boy. Actually. I wonder if we're like Just speeding up the incubation process and just making it so that this thing hatches sooner. Maybe that's what we're doing All right, let's give it our little heat test right there. Yeah. Yeah, cook it up. All right Did absolutely nothing. I don't understand. What are we supposed to do here? Can I throw it? That didn't do anything either. This seems to be telling us something. This is definitely a Tyrannosaurus Rex egg. And it looks like we got some kind of like puzzle action here, like a flow chart almost. So if we go start and we say egg, yes, we have the egg. And we go laser, yes. And then end die. I don't understand. So we just laser it? Is that all we have to do? People kill. <laughs> A lot of people have died in this park. Can't help but notice that. Let's see. Extremely ferocious mom. Yep, yep, that's Mama T-Rex out there. Okay, so I, I don't know. I, I I don't understand this. I mean, it does say that we have an egg and we have a laser. And if we do both of those things, we die. Which is, which is fantastic. That's exactly what we want to do. Or does the egg die? I don't know. Please do not annoy the T-Rex. How do we annoy... The T-Rex. Do we just throw this thing around? Does that anger Mrs. T-Rex? No, I don't think so. She's just, she's just following it. I don't know, let's zap it with the laser a few more times. See what happens. Give it another heat test. Keep doing that. Just keep on cooking it. Yeah? You don't like that, do you, Mama? I don't get it. Okay, we'll go laser, and then we'll stick it in the microwave. Try this again. Go ahead and cook that guy up, alright. Give it a nice little nuke in the microwave. All right, nice and toasty. Okay, and then we'll stick that thing on the on the stove again. Give that another shot, and uh, and it seems to be doing what it does. Can I pick it up while it's hot? I can. Oh, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be cooking it more and more as it gets redder and redder. Yeah. Okay. Stick it in the microwave. Give that another shot. I can't actually take it out of the microwave once it's in the microwave. So, oh gosh, it's getting, it's getting real red. Okay, maybe I'm just supposed to keep repeating these processes until, oh! Oh no, oh, Mama T-Rex, I just turned your egg into an omelet. Oh gosh, mmm. Now, we take this omelet right over to Mama, and we eat it right in front of her. Oh my gosh! What a demented thing to do, but a perfect way to make a T-Rex very angry at you and eat you.